Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Howard Snyder back here uh, Radar Contact Lost. We're going to start a new session here tonight at Jacksonville Center on the VATSIM Network. Um, it's Sunday evening. It's about 9.17 local time. Um, Line of Center is online right now. Uh, they got a couple of sectors um, online. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in and activate my session. We'll set up some ATIS here in just a minute. And we'll see what happens. It might get a little bit busy here with the Lana Center being on. We'll see what happens. Okay. Got that set. The uh, team with our radar client, uh, combined radar client, CRC, uh, did some up did some changes. Actually made our Weather information, altimeters uh, easier to read and much bigger, which I'm really happy about. So that's amazing because my eyes are terrible. Um, so let me just let everybody know that we're open. And we'll start trying to grab some aircraft here. Go ahead and log into my uh, TDLS system that will uh, allow me to issue pre-departure clearances very easily got three flight plans uh, plan is just letting me know that they're online and that they are uh, Atlanta's West Ops Charlotte's North Ops We always try to uh, pass that information along so we all uh, have people on the correct star when they're entering the airspace. Try to grab this guy before he gets into the airspace. This guy will grab. Okay. Orlando's North Ops right now. Jacksonville yeah, Center, good evening, American 1661, Slow up to 17 nautical miles to a quarry with you. American 1661, Jacksonville Center, low. All right, first customer of the night. Um, Going to try to provide some excellent air traffic services here in the NAS. Uh, Jacksonville, Jacksonville Center. good evening, Gulfstream 459, Bravo, go climbing through 3.8 now, climbing um, for... Four seven zero. November four five nine or Bravo Echo Jacksonville Center Squawk six two two seven. Six two two seven on Bravo. Okay, so issuing a beacon code is a secondary method of me radar identifying aircraft. Jacksonville Center, American eight zero nine. Flight level eleven thousand five hundred. Descending via reach by arrival. American eight zero nine Jacksonville Center Squawk four three two zero. American so it's a secondary method. It allows the data tag to populate, then I can verify that that is the guy who is squawking that code. There are nine Bravo Wicket radar contact, 30 miles southeast of the Seminole VOR. What's your requested cruise altitude? Tampa wants to take 47, but we prefer 45 if we get it. Uh, it would be 43 or 47 for your direction of flight. 40, 43, or 47, which one would you like? No, we'll take 439 Bravo. 9 Bravo, Bravo. Roger. Call me maintain follow level 430. 430, 9 Bravo. Bravo. So above 41,000 feet, the aircraft are separated by 2,000 feet as opposed to 1,000 feet uh, up to 41. We're going to 809 your radar contacts uh, 20 miles northwest of the Orlando VOR. Were you planning uh, 3 6 left? 3 6 left, American issue. Good eight zero nine. Right. Expect the visual approach and way three. Actually, uh, expect the RNAV and way three six left approach. I'm gonna have an ATIS here up here shortly. The Orlando altimeter is two nine or seven seven. Expect three six left. I'm making it cheaper. So the we'll, it's got some scattered clouds at eighteen hundred. So we'll just be safe and just give them an instrument approach just in case. We had a lot of weather yesterday. It rained like heck. We had just rain all in this area here. Almost the entire 
airspace except for the northeast and the west sector area. Um, just tons of rain. Now we just we've had a bunch of wind overnight to start to settle down a little bit. American 809 descend via the Grinch 5 arrival runway 36 left. Descend via Grinch 5 arrival 36 left, American 809. American 1582, Jacksonville Center. Go for American 1582. Yeah, I just see if you're on the frequency. Atlanta was letting me know that they didn't have a hold of you there. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you here at uh, 37,000 feet. Roger. Center, good evening, Delta 2468, Queen so when these aircraft give me a call, I'm typing in their call sign with a uh, with a special function, and it's proje it's producing a, a beacon code for them, and I'm going to issue that code. It's up here in the top left corner of my display area. Delta 2468 Jacksonville Center Squawk 3234. 3234 and box for 2468. These guys going to the same place, uh, same destination, Southwest Florida. Uh, down and uh, all the way down here. Um, we're gonna just make sure. Jacksonville that Center, American 240 is checking in. Flight level 340. I'm just southwest of uh, Allendale. American 240, Jacksonville Center, radar contact, reset transponder, squawk 1010. 1010 for American 240. So he reported his position from Allendale, southwest of Allendale. So I'm able to radar contact him primarily by him reporting his position and altitude. Um, so I just give him a code. He's already radar contacted. Delta 2468 for whatever reason. He might have typed in the wrong code. Let's just see here. Let's see if his data tag will correlate. Record 809 to still maintain 3000. 3,000 American Asia. Delta 2468, verify your code is uh, 3234. Roger, 3234 for Delta 2468. American 240, Clodrick Banff. Direct Banff for American 240. Well, the 2468 radar contact from 15 miles southeast of the Cross City VOR. Uh, clear, direct, Larry, and climb and maintain the level 330. That'll be your final. Or I can give you 35. 33 or 35, just let me know which one you want. Uh, direct uh, Larry, and we can do uh, level 350. Uh, oh my god. 2468. Oh, 2468 radar, so for the LOA, they want them at 35 on the border, so we're going to climb them to 35, clear them to Larry, which is this fix here. This route takes them onto the southeast arrival corridor here for Atlanta. All right, let's see if we can get a hold of some of these other people. Put up some ATIS information here. Jacksonville Center, flight of November 1 2, Delta Mike, flight level 230. Air 12, Delta Mike, Jack Center, squawk 3067. 3067, 2 Delta Mike. Okay, so Atlanta or Orlando, we're just going to do north ops and we'll make it to instrument. Jacksonville ground is online. They have an ATIS up now. Daytona is west stops and we'll call it instrument. Uh, that looks good. Savannah, let's see, Charleston. 
It's an orifin instrument. <clears throat> Jacksonville Center, CJX113, checking in with you, flight level 190. CJX113, Jacksonville Center, squawk 4270. Uh, Jacksonville Center, please repeat. CJX113, squawk 4270. 4270 for 113. Got a 1-2 Delta Mike radar contact uh, about 5 east of uh, Brunswick VOR. Pilots discretion. Actually, uh, descend via the Thor 3 arrival. Daytona Beach air altimeter is uh, 29-72 and smile you're on candid camera. Uh, descend via the Thor 3 arrival. Delta Mike. American 809, turn left, heading 090 or 0. 09, 0, American 809. American 809, clear direct to Mibi, cross Mibi at 3000, clear to RNA, runway 36 left approach. Direct Mibi, cross Mibi 3000, we are on now 36 left, American 809. Spray Wings 1, Jacksonville Center, do you receive voice? Okay, so he doesn't receive voice, so we'll just create a code for him. NKS1, and his code is going to be 7357 here. And I'll just have to get into here to text him. Okay. All right, so American 809, uh, American 809 is turning final for 36 left. So I'm going to go ahead and issue some PDCs here. Okay, faith departure. We'll put them on 1735 uh, left. Actually, let me. 3592, 13592 is my frequency. So I'm just creating the PDC for this guy's. Um, Sending them an electronic clearance. Let me just put my frequency here so I don't have to type as much. Set myself up for the departure frequency. American 0138. Departure, good evening. Trust. Citation 16, thank you. Whiskey, ready to go to see. One second. So we'll put him out on 3 3. Send Southwest 914 is also on faith. We'll send him 3-5 left. 3-5 left and send. So electronic clearances are sent. And Jacksonville wants to, okay, he's going to Charlotte. Or 1-6 uh, Yankee Whiskey Jacksonville Center. Hello, after departure, turn right heading 3-6-0 and wait 2-6 clear for takeoff. Who was calling holding short of the runway? Jacksonville Center, American 1661 requesting two minutes away from the flight deck. It's approved. Somebody was calling Jacksonville Center short of the runway. Who was that? American 809, the Orlando winds 2708 runway 36 left, clear to land. So this guy, okay. CGX113, a radar contact 20 south of Savannah VOR. Descend the bag E3 arrival runway 33 transition. The Charleston altimeter is 2937. Roger, we'll, uh, we'll do the bag E3 approach. Or, uh, yeah, the baggy, baggy three approach on three three and uh, two niner three seven is the altimeter. Thank you very much, sir. Departure, 
Citation one six Yankee whiskey holding short three six ready to go. And the aircraft short of the runway. I'm sorry, it was Yankee whiskey. Okay, I, I thought that was you. Was that you calling a minute ago? Yeah, I mean, we called a minute ago, but uh, I'll call the switch over to the wrong frequency. Oh, okay, gotcha. Remember, 1-6, yeah, I called you. I wasn't sure what happened there. November 1-6, Yankee Whiskey, after departure, turn right, heading 360, runway 26, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 26, right 360, 1-6, Yankee Whiskey. Southwest 694, Jacksonville Center, runway 26, line up and wait. Runway 26, line up and wait. I have the departing traffic in sight for Southwest 694. Roger. Okay, so I'm just checking speeds here. Uh, these guys going Jackson, to the same listen, destination. Back to flight deck. Roger. So he's going 500 knots across the ground. He's going 497 knots across the ground. So the speeds are matched, so we're good there. We'll just spot check that from time to time. And Spirit Wings 1 is radar contacted. He's going to need an odd altitude, so I'm just going to shoot him an odd altitude. All right, so uh, he's flying northeast bound, and that's going to require an odd altitude. So essentially, east for the, for the most part, in general, eastbound traffic gets odd altitudes, westbound traffic gets even altitudes. This is how we can screen very quickly and try to prevent, uh, you know, any collisions just, you know, just from doing that in general. Um, and then there are some specials we have, especially in our sector with Miami and Atlanta. Sometimes that doesn't always hold true, but uh, it is, uh, we, we do it just for basic traffic flow for our own personal situations. It makes things easier for us. Okay, so he wants 330. Oh, he's going there. So I'm going to change his data tag now. So he's uh, he's at 32 here. So I'm just going to update that. It's a quick code. And then I can either slew the plane or type his three-digit code here. This three-digit code is, is basically his ID. One, six, you, whiskey. I could use that also to enact the stuff. Who was, who was checking in? That was Citation 1-6 Yankee Whiskey. 1-6 Yankee Whiskey, say altitude. 3,300 feet at this time. Or six thank you whiskey Roger call maintain level four one zero and clear direct uh, whisper resume on navigation up to flight level four one zero direct uh, whisper resume on navigation one six thank you whiskey southwest ninety four after departure turn right heading three two zero runway two six clear for takeoff after departure turn heading three two zero clear for takeoff southwest six ninety four Jacksonville Center, Southwest 3786, 3,400. Southwest 3786, Jack Center, Squawk 7740. Squawk 7740 for uh, 3,786. I think that's Spruce Creek. That, uh, this gentleman's flying into Just double check the name seven foxtrot lima six spruce creek yeah all right so this is an uncontrolled uh private airfield so it's a residential airfield um down to daytona <clears throat> Southwest 694 radar contacts, the altitude passing. Passing 2,000 for 3,000. Southwest 694 radar call maintain maintain level 370. Atlanta will have higher for you. Southwest 694 club maintain maintain level 370. Southwest 
Southwest 694, Jax. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I keep stepping on you. I'm sorry. Southwest 694, climb and maintain for level 370. And climb and maintain flight level 370 for Southwest 694. Southwest 3786, radar contacts uh, 20 miles southeast of the Florence VOR, maintain for level 340. And maintain 340 for uh, Southwest 3786. Southwest 694, clear direct Alma. And clear direct Alma for Southwest 694. A lot of student Delta Mike just advised me how the weather and noted at Spruce Creek and when able to see your approach request. Two Delta Mike, got the weather. Uh, I'm just going to do a visual 2 4, I guess. And two Delta Mike, thanks. CDX113, uh, I can expect the ILS from Way 3 3 at Charleston. Advise when you have information alpha. Hello, Jacksonville Center, uh, Citation 16, Yankee Whiskey. We're just having a calm issue right now, so if you're trying to contact us, uh, we're here now. Sorry. Uh, you're all good, thanks. CGX113, Jacksonville. Uh, Jacksonville, CGX113, go ahead. Yeah, I can expect the, the ILS from Way 3 3 at Charleston. Advise when you have information alpha. Uh, Roger, we'll advise. Okay, so a lot of the groups uh, now are using some visual displays for their sectorization about which um, sectors are online and which sectors they control. So this is Atlanta. We have something similar for Jacksonville as well. Since it's just me, they I don't, we don't really need to do this, but they have two sectors on. So I just have to double check which sector I'm going to send this to. This is sector 10 in the green. Um, so I'll be handing this gentleman off to sector 10. He's covering basically the, these, these section up through here. So uh, T10 and then slew the plane and that will enact the digital handoff to the next controller. And then the other side, the 43 has, sector 43 has this side, so I'll hand this guy off to 43. Delta Mike starting to descend into Daytona. Okay, so this gentleman's going into, he's going to be uh, going on the ILS 3.3. This is the final approach course for 3.3, so we're going to vector him down to that here in a few minutes. These two aircraft are still doing well on their uh, speeds. No one's slowing down or speeding up. This gentleman's going to need a descent clearance here into Tampa. Jacksonville Center, Southwest uh, 3151, flight level 360. Southwest 3151, Jacksonville Center, squawk 2633. 2633, Southwest 3151. And Delta 2468, it looks like, are you direct to uh, Lars? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, no problem. I'll just let Atlanta know that you're direct Lars. Roger. Sorry about that. We got confused there. So he went... Jacksonville to Center, CDX-113 has Alpha on board. Roger. Okay. 
Fox, good evening. Coast Guard, helicopter 6516. Helicopter 6516, Jackson, under standby. November 9, Bravo Echo, contact Atlanta Center on uh, 125.57. Was that 12557 for 9, Bravo Echo? Affirmative. See you, 12557. Um, Have a good one, 9, Bravo Echo. See you later. Delta 2468, contact Atlanta Center, 132.9 or 7. Over to Atlanta Center, 3297. Good night, Delta 2469. Over to Delta Mike, Center maintain 6000. Helicopter November 6516, go ahead. And Jax, it's Coast Guard 6516, Charlie 6516. We're on the ground at Coast Guard Air Station Savannah. We're a Mike Hotel 65 Dolphin, that's uh, equipment suffix Alpha Sierra 65 VFR. Jacksonville Center, Southwest 151 radio check. Hilo. Juliet, Zulu, India, at or below two. And you're said you're at Savannah? We're at the uh, Hunter Army Airfield Air Station, Savannah. Oh, sorry, at Hunter, okay. All right, Coast Guard 6516, uh, yeah, you got stepped on about your request, and I heard all the rest of it. Stand by for just one second. Whoever called for a radio check, you're loud and clear. Now I can't get his flight plan to populate. That's fantastic. Evening, Jack Center. Power come on for two, holding short two six. Jacksonville, ready to go. Fly Club uh, one forty two, Jacksonville Center. Fly runway heading runway two six, clear for takeoff. Runway heading clear for takeoff two six, Jacksonville. Power come on for two. And Coast Guard six five one six. Uh, say the type again. It's Alpha Sierra 65 slang golf. And your destination. And the destination. It's Charleston Executive uh, Zulu, uh, correction, uh, Juliet, Zulu, India. All right, Coast Guard 6516, roger. Maintain uh, VFR Squawk 3431. Maintain VFR 3431, Coast Guard 6516. And Jack Center, Southwest 694, did you say uh, 360830. And uh, I don't know, somebody says something about 360 or something. Who is that? Uh, Southwest 694, did you say 360 or 380? Southwest 694, Columbia, maintain fumble 370, Atlanta will have higher for you. Uh, 370, okay, thank you, got it. Southwest 3151, radar contact 10 west of Remus, maintain flood level 360. Maintain 360, Southwest 3151. Radar 2 double mic, turn, uh, turn 20 degrees left, instead of maintain 4000. 20 degrees left, down to 4,000. Uh, plot S12, Delta Mike. C6516, 6516. Oh, my uh, data tags are not cooperating tonight. Coast Guard 6516, ident, say altitude. Ident and uh, 1000, Coast Guard 6516. Coast Guard 6516, radar contact about three northeast of uh, Hunter Army Air Station. The Savannah altimeter is uh, 2956. 56616. Okay, so he's VFR. Uh, going up to Charleston Executive, which is another uncontrolled field just uh, on the south end of the Charlie airspace. It's right here. 
CGX 113, turn right heading 0, 09 or 0, just sort of maintain 3,000 vectors to final. Uh, turn right. Give me a second. Um, I'm I'm having some issues here with my GPS real quick. Just let me know when you got it sorted out. Record 1661, cross Ogre at maintain for level 270. Cross Ogre at, at a maintain 270, American 1661. Record 1582, cross Ogre at and maintain flood level 270. Cross Ogre and maintain at 270 for American 1582. So crossing restriction for uh, minus Center American for 240, I'd like to start down. American 240, just uh, to maintain flight level 240. Flight level 240, American 240. So it looks like CGX freaked out and he logged off there. Yeah, so Pilot Club 142-3000. Pilot Club 142, radar contact, climb and maintain, flight level 190, turn uh, left, direct the Ormond Beach via Oscar Mike November, resume on navigation. Clear up to 19,000 left to direct the Ormond, Pilot Club 142. Or two Delta Mike, so to maintain 3,000. 3,000, two Delta Mike. Okay, so he's going down to this little airport right here, which is just south of Daytona Beach International and just uh, northwest of uh, New Smyrna Beach. So it's kind of tucked right in here between these two airports. Or two Delta Mike, just let me know you have the field in sight. Will do. Jacksonville Center, good evening. Twin Sessa, November 427, Romeo Charlie on the ground. Jacksonville Center, Southwest 151, ready for taxi. Malacca, we have Alpha. Okay, the air, okay, the aircraft calling for taxi, stand by. The other aircraft calling me, I didn't catch what you said to get stepped on. No worries. Uh, Twin Sessa, November 427, Romeo Charlie on the ground at Daytona. Looking to pick up by Fardo, Balaka, we have Alpha. All right, Roger, stand by for clearance. Uh, November 427, Bravo Charlie. An aircraft calling for taxi, who was it? Southwest 151, sorry for stepping on somebody. Southwest 151, just check your code. You got the improper code in there. And let me know when you have information, Alpha at Orlando. CGX 113, radar contact lost. Lattice 12, Delta Mike field site. Or two Delta Mike, clear visual approach into the uh, Spruce Creek Airport. Uh, no traffic observed between you and the field. Report out for our cancellation on the ground. Misapproach this frequency. Radar service is terminated. Frequency change approved. Clear visual uh, Spruce Creek. Okay. Yeah, we can cancel that. All right, two Delta Mike, Roger. Off our cancellation for Spruce. Squawk VFR and have yourself a great week. We'll see you. Squawk VFR, ready to come. Thanks a lot, Howard. Have a good night. See you later. I would love to see a Pilatus in Spruce Creek. First place I ever saw one. Jacksonville Center, Southwest 151, squawking 6224 with information alpha on board. Southwest 151, thanks. Runway 35 left, taxi via Gulf. Runway 35 left, taxi via Gulf, Southwest 151. This guy's going to Providence. And he's taxiing down to 3-5 left down here. So this guy just lost control of his airplane. He's gone. Merca 240 cross Olean at maintain 1-3000 Tampa altimeter 2 9 or 8 2. Olean at 1-3000 2 9 or 8 2 uh, American 240. Southwest 694, contact Atlanta Center, 132.9 or 7. Have a good flight. Over Atlanta Center, 132.9 or 7. Thank you. Have a good night, Howard. Thank you. We'll see you. Let's go start 516. The Charleston altimeter is... Um, uh, two nine or three seven. Two nine three seven. Coast Guard six five one six.
Eric in 1661, radar services terminated, frequency change approved. Have a good night. Over to Unicom, Eric in 1661, happy holidays. See you. Same to you. American 1582, same for you, radar services terminated, frequency change approved. Have a good night. Over to Unicom, have a great rest of your night. Thanks for the ATC, American 1582. So this gentleman's going to Charlotte on the stock car arrival. It basically comes into Charlotte through here, just kind of makes a big turn into here. Uh, Jack Center, good evening, Mr. 542 with you descending uh, for Dushi at uh, 510. Westjet 542, Jacksonville, sir. Good, uh, good evening. Uh, descend via the O day one arrival, runway 26 transition. Jacks altimeter is 2969. Actually, the O day one and 226 transition for Westjet 542. Some low pressures out here today. Good evening, uh, Jacksonville Center. Delta 2408 with you, flight level 370. Delta 2408, Jacksonville Center. Hello. Jacks, good evening, Southwest 9036, level 290. Southwest 9036, Jacksonville Center, Roger. I'm going to put a little audio, uh, audio icon on here just to let, uh, just remind me that they did call. So all three of these guys called. I'll just put that on the uh, data tag. Just a little reminder type of thing that we have. We can also put a square around it and keep a square around it if you're trying to flag it for something. Maybe they stepped away or if there's something else going on. You need to change your altitude or you need to give them a new route or something and you just need to flag it and do it later type of thing. Someone's going down to Melbourne Airport in uh, Melbourne, Florida. It's just southeast of Orlando. Orlando Tracon covers that. See what the weather is there. It's west and uh, visual, so he's going to get a visual approach into uh, Melbourne. Go ahead and give him his crossing restriction. Uh, yep, give him his crossing restriction now. Pilot Club 142, cross uh, Lamet, maintain 15000, the Melbourne altimeter 2975. 75 on the altimeter, 15000 for Lama. Pilot Club 142. Somebody coming into Orlando here, I think. Jacksonville Center, Twin Cessna 7, Romeo, Charlie. We're uh, ready to go whenever we get that clearance. Yeah, I'm sorry. Coming up here one second. No worries. Take your time. November 7, Romeo, Charlie. Cleared to the Opelika Airport as filed. After departure, maintain 3,000. Expect uh, 1, 2,000. One zero, one zero minutes after departure. Squawk 1671. And Twin Cessna 7 Romeo Charlie cleared to the Opalaka Airport as file climb maintain 3,000. Expect 1, 2, 12,000. 10 minutes after departure. Departure with you is clock 1671. 7 Romeo Charlie. Your 7 Romeo Charlie, you're back correct. Um, runway 25 left at, Charlie, at Tango 2. Call for taxi. Information uh, Alpha is current. We have Alpha and uh, we'll call for taxi. 7 Romeo Charlie. Jacksonville Center. Volunteer 845, level 370. Volunteer 845, Jacksonville Center, squawk 1674. 1674. Southwest 151, RNAV to JWOOF, runway 35 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV to JWOLF, clear for takeoff, runway 35 left, southwest 151. This 
center, good speed 420 with you descending out of uh, uh, 7,100 for 4,000, heading direct X bar to join the R nav runway 36 left for Orlando. Good speed 420, Jacksonville Center, Squawk 4370. Uh, 4370, good speed 420. Jacksonville Center, 16 Yankee Whiskey. For 16 Yankee Whiskey, good. Hey, for 16 Yankee Whiskey, can we get a flight level 290 if possible? For 16 Yankee Whiskey, descend via the stock car 3 arrival, Charlotte Landing North. Uh, altimeter is uh, 2952. Stock car 3 arrival, landing uh, runway 32, and um, we'll go down to 290. Thank you. And volunteer 845, your radar contact, 30 miles southeast of the Ormond Beach VOR, maintain level 370. 370, volunteer 845. And good speed, 8420, radar contacts, um, about 20 miles southwest of the Orlando International Airport. You see your direct X band? Affirmative direct X band right now. Good speed 420. Good speed 420. Roger. Clear direct X band. Cross X band 4000. Clear our nav. Runway 36 left approach. The Orlando altimeter is 2978. X band at 4000. Clear the R nav. Uh, 36 left approach and uh, 2978. Good speed 420. Jacksonville Center. Twin Tessa 7 Romeo Charlie. Ray for taxi. Information Alpha. Freaking 240, nothing further. Radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. 122.8, thank you. Uh, have a good one. American 240. See you later. November 7, Romeo Charlie, can you accept uh, Tango 2 intersection? Yeah, it looks like we got enough room there. 7, Romeo Charlie. 7, Romeo Charlie, runway 25 left. Uh, Tango 2, taxi via Tango 2. Just let me know if you want full length. 25 left, Tango 2, 7, Romeo Charlie. Uh, I think we'll be all right. Roger. Southwest 9036, cross uh, Jurdy at maintain flood level 210. Jurdy flood level 210, Southwest 9036. Okay, so we have a bunch of restrictions um, on this arrival going to Damster 1, going to Raleigh Durham. Uh, they have to cross Jurdy at flood level 210 or cross the border at 210. That's this fix here. Um, Southwest 3151 uh, is going to New Orleans. They want uh, flood level two, three, uh, 320 at the border, so I'll be descending him in a little bit. Um, good speed 420 was already direct the initial fix for the RNF 36 left, so I just helped, I just let him continue that. So he's uh, inbound for the, the uh, approach for 36 left. So a lot of these things, obviously, we have memorized. Some things, obviously, we don't. Uh, so um, we just, uh, what we know, we'll spew out. What we don't, we got to look it up. So this is always a lot of research. Southwest 151, radar contacts, the altitude. Uh, so 6,000, Southwest 151. Southwest 151, Roger Columbia, maintain to level 3, 9 or 0, clear, direct, uh, Clear to Buffy. Climb maintain three, flight level 390, clear direct Buffy, southwest 141, thanks. So these RNAV departures out of Orlando are sort of uh, hybrid RNAV departures. Um, when they come off the south side, when they come off the north side, uh, they can just stay on the... Jacksonville Center, Twin uh, 7 Romeo Charlie, holding short 25 left, Tango 2, ready for departure. There's 7 Romeo Charlie, Roger, fly runway heading, runway 25 left to Charlie 2, uh, Tango 2, clear for takeoff. 25 left, <laughs> Tango 2, clear for takeoff, runway heading, 7 Romeo Charlie. Westjet 542, advise uh, when you have um, information... Uh, I think it's information Victor down there, Jax. You can expect the ILS runway 26 unless you want the RNAV Yankee. Yeah, Victor on board, and I'll, I'll take the ILS 26 for a Russian property. Roger.
So the ATISs are starting to update here at the top of the hour. Southwest 3151, descend to maintain flight level 320. Descend to maintain flight level 320, Southwest 3151. So six Yankee Whiskey is descending. He's an overflight. This guy's going to basically right here, VFR. Southwest 3786, radar contact lost. This guy, he wants the ILS runway 26, so we'll be giving him, he's on the arrival, which will take him on a downwind to the runway, so we'll eventually give him some vectors. This gentleman's going to, again, Melbourne, uh, which is in the F-11 airspace. This is the Orlando Approach airspace, so Melbourne Airport's right here. This is Patrick Air Force Base, and we've got the shuttle landing facility here and uh, Space Coast Regional, a couple of other small fields out here. And an overflight to Key West. Good speed, 420, the winds... Um, 28012 gust 20 runway 36 left clear to land. Clear to land 36 left good speed 420. Ball club 140 We got the big planes coming out of Jacksonville now. 142 uh, did you uh, want not, uh, 27 right or 27 left tonight? 27 left, the uh, RNAV uh, with India. Information whiskey is current at Jacksonville. Runway 27 left approach. 27 left, thanks. Pilot Club 142. Potential aircraft, uh, Jacksonville latest whiskey now current. Jacksonville altimeter 2971. Thank you. Potential aircraft, Aegis Bravo is current at Orlando, altimeter 2979 or Bravo at Daytona, altimeter 2975, Bravo at Charleston, altimeter 2941. Number 7, Bravo, Charlie, radar contacts, the altitude. Passing 2600 for 3000, 7 Romeo, Charlie. 7 Romeo, Charlie, clear, direct island, climb and maintain 1 2000, the Orlando altimeter 2979 or. 2979 are clear direct island and up to 1 to 12,007 Romeo Charlie. Okay, so I'm going to quickly research the RNAV uh, down at Melbourne. So again, this is just tons of research, continuous research that we're doing. RNAV 27 left, he wanted. Let's verify 27 left. And I can give him the T fix at IGMYTH. Pilot Club 142, clear direct IGMYTH, pilot's discretion, maintain 3,000. Direct IGMYTH and 3,000, Pilot Club 142. Okay, so he's direct the initial approach fix. I'll give him his clearance later. This gentleman's coming out of Daytona going uh, down to Opelika, Florida, down South Florida. I'm gonna hand this guy off to Houston. This guy logged off. Southwest 3151, contact Houston Center, 134.42. Have a good night. 134.42, have a good night. Southwest uh, 3151. Okay, now we got the arrival coming into Jax. Let's see if we have all this set up correctly in my maps. 26, West Ops, West. Daytona's West. Okay, now we got it set. So he's just going to go down. This is actually a uh, depicted uh, ground track of the RNAV arrivals that come into Jax for the for a particular runway. So I set it up. Hey, good speed 420. We cleared 36 left. We're just going to park at the FBO for a minute. Good speed 420. Taxi around the Alpha. Have a good night. Alpha. See you in a minute. Check our, don't have any clearances. All right, so we're good there.
All right, for you guys new to the channel, uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll try to keep putting out content as much as I can. I'm trying to do two streams a week um, on the weekends, hopefully, and eventually, once I get everything going, I'll hopefully start doing some live streams. Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button so you see the next video when it comes out. Uh, again, uh, just to remind everybody of the airspace, this is the Houston Center line here. Houston Center is here, Atlanta Center all the way around up to here. So from here all the way around to here, it's Atlanta. Washington Center is this line here. Then we have a small area of New York radar, which is in this sector here. We have New York Oceanic, New York Radio out this way. And then the Miami Center is here on the south border down here. Get a conflict alert from somebody I'm not talking to over here. VFR target probably. Buckle up one four two just verify your direct IGMIF, uh, the T initial fix. Stay firm, direct IGMIF, pile up one four two. Coast Guard uh, five one six so many and you have uh, Charleston Executive Insight. All right, we'll call it be a couple minutes, Coast Guard six five one six. Southwest ninety thirty six, so Washington's off line radar services terminated, frequency change approved. Have a good night. You can come Have a great rest of your night. Southwest 936. Same too. All right. So it looks like Atlanta just logged off. So it's just me for now. And Houston. So Skywest just got handed off to me uh, from Houston Airspace. So he'll be calling me here in a second. This aircraft will be with me until about here. Jacksonville Center, Delta 246, descending past two, flight level 260 for 240 at Dutchie. Delta 246, Jacksonville Center, IDENT. Two forty six, your radar contact about fifteen miles northwest of Dutchie. Descend via the O day one arrival, runway two six transition, Jacksonville altimeter two nine or seven one. Two nine or seven one, ODO one arrival to two six. That's a two forty six. Coast Guard 6516, we're gonna head up the bay here. Uh, we'll remain clear of the Charlie, so we'll cancel Cyclone now. Uh, you want to go ahead and cancel now, you said? Hey, affirmative. All right, Coast Guard 6516, Roger. Radar services terminated. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Have a good night. All right, Squawk VFR, thanks, sir. All right, so he's going to squawk VFR visual flight rules. That means that he has to maintain his own separation from obstacles uh, and aircraft by looking out the window. It's not requiring on air traffic to uh, point out traffic to him anymore. He could have. He could have gotten service all the way to the airport, but he decided to cancel now. Uh, Jack Center, Sky was 44-45. Good evening with you. Flight level 230. Sky was 44-45. Jack Center, right there. So the Miami uh, So this guy is going to be in my airspace all the way up to this line here. This little swig of airspace is uh, 14,000 and higher to Miami, but the rest of this... And uh, Jacksonville Center, Delta 1016, holding short runway 26 at Jacksonville, ready for departure. Delta 1016, Jacksonville Center, hello. We'll fly runway heading, runway 26, clear for takeoff. Uh, the Jacks wins 28012. 
Fly runway heading, runway 26, clear for takeoff, Delta 1016. Pilot Club 142, cross uh, IGMIF at or above 2000, cleared R and Avenue, runway 27, left approach. Cross segment at or above 2000, clear the R now 27 approach, Pilot Club 142. So he's joining the Jackson Bay Control, American 566, American 509, with Bravo on board, because I am parked to Nashville. Okay, that was two guys calling at once, and I literally didn't catch either one of you. Somebody going to Nashville, who is that? American 809. Okay, American 809, Roger. And who else was calling? American 556, sir. Okay, are you in the air on the ground somewhere? I'm in the air. American 556, Jacksonville Center, Squawk 3423, three, and say altitude. Flight number 330, American 556. American 556, thanks to radar contact, about 15 miles southeast of the Macon VOR. Descend via the O'Day 1 arrival, runway 26 transition. Jacksonville altimeter is 2971. Uh, Jackson, the control, can you say it again, please? American 556, radar contact south of the Macon VOR, descend via the O'Day 1 arrival, runway 26, altimeter 2971. Descend via O'Day arrival, runway 26, uh, altimeter 2971, American 556. Delta 1016, radar contact, say altitude. 1,600, Delta 1016. Delta 1016, Roger, come and maintain, flow level 400, clear direct caps. Come and maintain, flow level 400, clear direct caps, Delta 1016. Okay, this guy turn on the downwind here. Westjet 542, just sort of maintain 2,000. Departure. 2,000, Westjet 542. And who else just checked in to get stepped on? Sorry about that, United 11, uh, home trade runway 26, uh, Jackson alerted for departure. United 11, uh, heavy, Jacksonville Center, Roger. Flood runway heading, runway uh, 26, clear for takeoff. The winds 28012. 26, clear for takeoff, runway heading, United 11, heavy. American 809, I'll send you a pre departure clearance. Okay, this was the guy that was calling. And yes, I'm sent an American 809 with Bravo on board, request I have a care and too much. Yes, sir, I'm sending you a pre departure clearance right now. 36 left, 36 right. Okay, that's done. So we got to get this guy here, turn on the ILS. So Pilot Club's getting ready to turn base here. Seven Romeo Charlie, just got a little bit further to go in my airspace up to about here. He's on course. He's on course. Inbound Jacksonville, inbound Jacksonville. Inbound Jacksonville. Westjet 542, turn on the right, heading 180. Right, 180, Westjet 542. All right, we'll turn him on the base. This guy's a heavy also. So we can use an auto track feature on this client uh, and we can select airports so when airplanes depart off the runway they'll automatically populate. Um, just saves us a little bit of time and less aggravation. Which at 542 turn right heading 230 intercept the localizer. 230 intercept the localizer, which at 542. Which at 542 you're 7 miles from Dalton, maintain 1600 till established on the localizer, clear the island runway 26 approach. Maintain 1600 to establish the island 26, which at 542. United 11 heavy radar contacts, say altitude. Passing 2300. Uh, at 11 heavy, Roger. Climb and maintain level 400, clear direct caps. 400, direct caps, uh, United 11 heavy. So we'll give them just a straight out 
Uh, get them on course right away. These guys are going, just friends flying together. It's a pretty common thing on bad sim. We have a lot of, if, uh, if anybody got to contact me, just disregard it. Delta 246 of us, when you have uh, information, um, whiskey at Jacksonville, you can expect the ILS runway 26 approach. Roger, I expect uh, ILS 26 approach. I currently have information whiskey with altimeter 2271. Okay, so looks like everybody is squared away at the moment. Let's give this guy some landing clearance. Westjet 542, the Jax winds 28012, runway 26, clear to land. Runway 26, clear to land, Westjet 542. Buckle of 142, runway 27 left, clear to land. Buckle of 142, runway 27 left, clear to land. Clear to land, uh, 27 left. Well, we've got traffic, looks like, right over the runway. Do you see, are you seeing that? Uh, there's a VFR target that's uh, 3,000 feet over the airport. Okay, good. We're good to him then. Park up one for two seconds. Aircraft that are VFR. Jackson, uh, American 556, yeah, to Somebody uh, chimes in. American 556, descend via the arrival, sir. So descend via the altitudes on the published arrival. Descend via the altitude of the published arrival. Uh, American 556. Thank you, sir. And Merry Christmas. Say to you, sir. Okay, so this guy's going back out. That's Pilatus, the Danny. I think Danny is turboprop also. Let's, let's see if they may have changed it, but I think it's jet only. Let's see. Danny three. More research. Yeah, jet aircraft only. So he's in a Pilatus, so I'm going to have to give him a new route. Jack Center, uh, Twin Cessna 427 Romeo Charlie. We're unfortunately going to have to disconnect here, but uh, thanks for your help and you have a great night. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good night. We'll see you later. See you. Okay, three, six left for him. And we just had to update his clearance just to give him the rate of vector departure out of here. So the Citrus one, three, six left. So Pilot Club is landing down here at Melbourne. So the very far targets, they show up uh, if they have their transponder turned on and they're squawking 1200, zero, zero, then we see this uh, here showing, he's showing his altitude here at 3000 feet. So that's a VFR aircraft. Uh, that's how we are able to tell that they're VFR. 
if they're squawking to uh, 1200, and that'll show that correctly. Jack Senator Scott, that's 4445. Any objection if we uh, step away for five? That's approved. Appreciate it, Scott, that's 4445. Number six, thank you, Whiskey. Nothing further by logged off. Unfortunately, radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. We'll see you later. Frequency right, change right approved for uh, 16 Thank you, Whiskey. On to you, Com. See you. Thank you. See you later. Delta 246, um, information, I think you said you had information of Whiskey. I can give the ILS 26 or the RNAV Yankee 26. Which one would you like? Let's go with the ILS for 26, please. All right, Delta 246, with the ILS runway 26 approach. Copy, thank you, Delta 246. Jacksonville, Central American, is it on I ready to pass it runway 26, right? Roger. Which at 542, you can turn left, contact ground, 121.9er. Have a good week. We'll see you. 121.9er, which at 5, turn Club 142, say parking. Yeah, we're going to the Northrop Grumman ramp off of Quebec, Club 142. Club 242, Roger, turn left on Quebec, touch the ramp. We'll see you. I yeah, appreciate you, Howard. We'll see you. Good night. Good night. American 809, runway 36 right, taxi via Charlie, Bravo 10. Taxi via Charlie, Bravo 10, American 809. American 556, advise when you have information, whiskey at Jacksonville, you can have the ILS 26 or the RNAV Yankee 26. Just let me know which one you like. Uh, I'll go for the uh, RGS 26. American 556 Road, expect the ILS runway 26 approach. We expect the uh, RGS runway 26 approach, American 556. Thank you, sir. Delta 2408, while Miami Center is offline, radar services terminated, frequency change approved. Have a good night. Over to you in a comment. Thanks for the service. Happy holidays, Delta 2048. See, see you later. Another VFR target up here at 2,000 feet. So they're clear of any uh, controlled airspace. Uh, the Charlie airspace is here, so he could technically, uh, you know, accidentally roll into the class Charlie here at uh, Myrtle Beach. So if he seems like he's going to do that, then I'll send him a contact me. Um, this guy's just flying over the top of Melbourne at 3,000 feet. You can see 420 information, down. Bravo, ready to taxi. Good speed 420, Jacks, Center Roger, runway 36 left, taxi via Alpha Bravo 10. Alpha Bravo 10, 36 left, uh, good speed 420. So just send a contact me to the Delta here. He probably has a discrete code, so I'll probably just have him ident. That'll be a secondary method, a secondary way for me to... Jackson and Center, Delta 246, be advised. Uh, we're headed for Concourse A. Delta 246, right? like ground now. Copy, thank you. So we have uh, a lot of uh, controlled airspace uh, here in uh, in the Jacksonville Air Route Traffic Control Center. We have um, multiple Charlie airspaces, um, starting over here at Pensacola, Navy Pensacola, Pensacola Regional. We have Whiting, um, which is a Navy training facility. Um, so we have uh, Tallahassee which is the capital of Florida. 
We move up to the northeast. We have Columbia. We have Shaw Air Force Base. We have Myrtle Beach. Delta 19, or er, correction, Jacksonville Center, Delta 1997, level 337, climbing 37010 to the north of Zeppelin intersection. Delta 1997, Jacksonville Center, radar contact. So he reported his position exactly where he is. So he is radar contact, and I can just uh, grab his tag. That's a type couple things here. Now I've got his tag associated. Delta 1997, uh, were you climbing to 37 or are you going to stay lower? Uh, we're climbing to 37 for Delta 1997. Thank you. So, uh, Myrtle Beach. Speed 420, we're ready to go 36 left. Go speed 420, Roger. Uh, turn right, heading 060, runway 36 left, clear for takeoff. So it'll be right zero six zero clear to take off three six left to uh, get three four twenty. American eight uh, zero nine runway three six right line up and wait traffic departing the parallel. Line up and wait runway three six right American eight zero nine. So you can show you guys the Aztecs file there. Delta two forty six is going to maintain two thousand. Delta 246, assignment team 2000. American 556, fly your present heading vectors to the final approach course. American 556, maintain your present heading vectors to the final approach course. American 556, fly your present heading. Keep the heading that you're flying. Fly that heading until advised. Expect vectors to final. Continue heading and we expect vectors to final. American 556. American 556, descend and maintain 4,000. Descend and maintain 4,000, American 556. So this gentleman got off the arrival. The arrival is this ground track here. He should be flying this ground track, and somehow he got off the arrival, and he should. Hey, get 1300 for 2,000. Uh, own, own route here, so I've just advised him to fly his present heading, and then I'll give him vectors to the final approach course. Say again for Jax. Hey, good speed 420 leveling at 2,000. Good speed 420 radar contact climb and maintain level 230 turn right heading 140. So two three zero right one four zero good speed four twenty. American eight zero nine. Uh, American eight zero nine RNAV to uh, let's see on the Red Sox RNAV to fax runway three six right clear for takeoff. I'm not too fast runway three six right clear for takeoff American eight zero nine. Delta 246, turn right, heading 240. Delta 246, turn right, heading 240. Right, heading 240, Delta 246. So when you have large uh, airports such as Orlando uh, with parallel departures, um, the RNAV departures uh, that we use uh, have a first waypoint, and so if we verify that first waypoint in our clearance, that, that confirms that the aircraft is going to fly to that first waypoint to prevent them from accidentally flying off the wrong over the air, you know, and flying over into another aircraft's departure track uh, if they may have accidentally had the wrong uh, departure plugged in. So if they read it back, then they're going to fly to it. We have actually caught uh, some issues with pilots had the wrong departure put in or what have you, and we're able to uh, prevent that from happening. Well, the 246 is uh, five miles from Tickery, maintain 2000 till established on the localizer, Clyde Eilish, runway 26 approach. Copy, maintain 2000 until established localizer, clear for the 26 left approach.
Jackson Vicente la Meca en 809 with you passing 2,700. American 809, climb unrestricted, maintain flow level 360. Maintain 360, American 809. Good speed 420, clear direct Danny. Direct Danny, good speed 420. So this guy actually did roll into Myrtle Beach. I just got sidetracked, but uh, he should have called me um, to enter this class Charlie airspace here. So um, in the real world, he would have called the controller. Texas Center 11 Heavy, uh, can you still wait for about five minutes? It's approved. Thanks. American 556, turn on the left, heading 090 to sort of maintain 3000. Left to zero nine nine zero. Descend, maintain three thousand American five fifty six. So this guy slowed way down here, one hundred fifty five knots. He's twelve miles out. Um, typically, we like to keep the aircraft about one hundred eighty knots until the five mile final for sequencing. But he's pretty far out. He's it's not going to really be a factor, but if we were compressing and sequencing uh, these aircraft, if there's an event or something, we would be more paying more attention to the speed control through here. Record 556, reduce speed to 180 knots. 180 knots, American 556. So I sent him down to 3,000, he's still at 4. Jack Center, Scott is 4445, back with you, thanks. My stewardess went to bed. Roger, thanks. American 556 to set of maintain 2000. 2000, American 556. American 556, turn right heading 160. 160, American 556. Delta 246, the winds 28012, runway 26, clear to land. <clears throat> Runway 26, clear land, Delta 246. American 88809, clear direct Bretz, Bravo, Romeo, Uniform, Tango, Sierra. Direct to Bretz, American 809. American 556, turn right, heading 230, intercept the runway 26 localizer. 230, Northern Terceptor Localizer, American 556. That doesn't sound good. United 11 Heavy's back. Got an Avianca rolling into the airspace here. Give him contact me, see if he'll call. American 556, you're four miles from Tickery. Maintain 2000 until established on the localizer. Cleared ILS runway 26 approach. Maintain 2000 and cleared for the ILS runway approach. American 256. 556. Jacksonville Center, good evening. Avianca 590, flight level 390. Avianca 590, Jack Center, Squawk 26, is, correction, 2706. Squawk 2706 for Avianca 590. 
Good speed 420, leaving my airspace. Uh, Miami's off. Radio service is terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good flight. Good change approved. Good speed 420. See you later. Avianca 590, your radar contact about 45 miles southwest of the Cross City VOR. Maintain flight level 390. Maintain flight level 390 for Avianca 590. So these aircraft look like they might be converging here. Uh, they're on, you know, they're on a converging course. They're they're not going to converge. Uh, I can kind of use my vector lines to show you. But this is where they'll be in eight minutes. So he'll be here in eight minutes. He'll be here in eight minutes. So they're not actually going to hit. Um, but they're also at uh, altitudes that are separating. So I don't have to really worry about these two guys at all. This gentleman's at three nine zero. This gentleman's at three seven zero. These two aircraft are at flood level 400. This aircraft is at flood level 230. So there'll be no conflict here with these guys. And these, this guy's slightly faster than this guy. So I'm not really having to deal with watching these guys. So, you know, if they're one if the rear, if the guy, uh, number two guy was going to overtake number one, then I would either have to slow him down or give him a different altitude to overtake the uh, aircraft ahead. American 556, it looks like you're off the localizer. Do you have the field insight? Copy, I have the field insight. off the localizer here by about uh, two miles. American 556, cleared visual approach on way 26. Cleared visual, clear, cleared visual approach on way 26. Delta 246, contact Jacksonville ground, 121.9er. Have a good night. 121.9 or Delta 246. Good night. Thank you. Welcome. So this aircraft is also kind of entering the mix here. He's climbing up to this. He's going to be going up this direction. Um, his cruise altitude is flight level 360, so he'll be below both of these aircraft. So again, something I have to look at, but can immediately rule out that I have to even do anything, so there will be no issues unless they aren't, unless they don't stop at their filed altitude. American 556, the Jacks winds 28012, runway 26, clear to land. Good to go, American 556. Skywest 44445. Um, do you have the uh, Marco to arrival on the aircraft? Uh, I probably do. I'll get back to you on that. Okay. So he didn't. He didn't actually file on arrival. Um, his last waypoint is the Taylor VR, which is right here, which is no big deal. I could vector him, uh, but if he can fly the arrival, then the arrival will take him all the way down to the to the downwind side of the airport, and we'll have to really do anything for him except to clear him for the arrival. Volunteer 845, Atlanta's off. Retro services terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good week. Everybody comes to the uh, Volunteer 845. In Jackson, there's got us 44-45, A firm on the market, too. It's got us 44 Roger, you're cleared to the Jacksonville International Airport via the Marco to arrival CAPS transition. Okay, uh, cleared to the Jacksonville International Airport uh, via the Marco to arrival CAPS transition. It's got us 44-45. It's got us 44-45, read back correct. When able, direct CAPS. Okay, uh, when able, direct CAPS. Uh, Skywest 44-45. So I just pulled up the arrival fixes real quick, and I'll just uh, delete those. And we'll update his flight plan. Okay, 
United 2214 on Taxiway uh, Alpha at Jacksonville. That was United 2214? Yeah, it was United 2214. At 2214 Jacksonville Center, hello, hold short on way 26 for landing traffic. Hold short 26 on way, er, United 2214. Uh, 23 4 turn runway 26, line up and wait. Line up and wait 26, United 22 4 You can see the tower view here. Jackson Bay Control, American 556, just vacate the runway. American 556, thank you very much. Contact Jacksonville Ground 121.9. 121.9, American 56. Thank you and happy holidays. Same to you, sir. And just see, this guy's going to inter intercontinental, so he's going to be runway heading. United 2214, fly runway heading, runway 26, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 26, fly runway heading. United 2214. All right, guys, you can join the video. Uh, go ahead and uh, just thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button so you can get uh, a notification when we put up more content. Um, just trying uh -huh. to share uh, some controlling um, and just some basic flight information for those new simmers, uh, new pilots, get to see what happens uh, behind the radar. And um, for those controllers that are just starting out, kind of kind of see what's going on and get a little bit more information about what happens uh, behind the radar screen. Somebody calling Jack Center? No, I was just saying what's up. Oh, hey, how are you doing? What's up? Hey. What you up to? Um, just uh, stop, pop, and say hi. This They've updated ERAM since I've been on it. This new altimeter thing is cool. Uh, 2214 uh, radar contacts, the altitude? Uh, 1300. Got it. 2214, Roger. Columbia maintain, five three two zero. clear direct caps. Direct to caps, 320. Looks like this guy uh, just dropped off the network, so we'll give him a radar contact lost. Southwest 151, radar can attack lost. So when the uh, radar isn't see it receiving the transponder radio anymore, it gives us this little CST abbreviation and black flashing. It's just what we call coasting. And the data tag just kind of Continuous. Hey, Center Delta 1016, there's a guy radioing for you. I can hear him on the frequency. I don't know if you can. Yeah, he's probably at Tampa, which we don't control. So if you can ask, if you can tell him if he's at Tampa, then uh, if you want to transmit, are you at Tampa, then tell him that Miami controls Tampa. Roger that. Uh, last plane calling on frequency. Um, if you're in Tampa, that's Miami Center, and uh, he's not controlling that. So huge misconception. Everybody uh, thinks that uh, we control Tampa because they look at these maps. For instance, uh, if we were to take a look at uh, VATSPY, which is one of the clients that we can use. He was just saying that if you're in Tampa, calling right now to try to get him, he's not in. He's not controlling Tampa. That's Miami Center. So Tampa 
and Orlando are right here on the border of Miami and um, and Jacksonville. And so people just think we control Tampa. So we just have to be fighting that battle continuously. So for all you guys out there, Tampa is owned by Miami Center. So the Tampa Tracon, the Tampa Approach Airspace. Uh, Jackson Center, Avianca 590. Can I step away for 10 minutes? Owned by Miami Center. And we own Orlando. Avianca 590, that's brute. Roger, thank you. Avianca 590. Jacksonville Center, uh, Southwest 151. I just had a connection issue. It looks like I'm back, though. Just wanted to let you know. Sorry for the disruption. Southwest 151, no problem. Your radar contact. Skyway's 4445, descend via the Marco 2 arrival, runway 26, Jacksonville altimeter 2971. Okay, uh, descend via the Martha Two arrival runway 26. Uh, we have uh, Jacksonville Adis Whiskey. And just for your planning purposes, I don't think we're going to be able to make this speed restriction at Wallop, but other than that, we're good. All right, Scott West 4445, you can delete the speed restrictions. Okay, delete the speed restrictions. Scott West 4445, descend via the Marco Two arrival runway 26. Sky West 4445. So some aircraft, um, some jet aircraft uh, can't fly as fast and I'll show you what he's talking about. So on these uh, RNAV arrivals, they often have, obviously they have altitude restrictions at certain fixes and they also have speed restrictions. So he's flying the Marco. And this is what he's talking about. So he's he's flying the arrival from the CAPS transition. There's only one transition for this arrival. So I cleared him from the CAPS transition. So he's going to fly over CAPS, go to Zeus, go to Wallop, go to Camjo, Marco, Koru, and then and then the ground track changes based on the runway that I assigned him. So when his when he puts uh, runway 26 in the FMS, it should populate the the, uh, the appropriate fixes uh, for that runway. Uh, and he said train. that uh, he could not fly this uh, speed right here at 280 knots, so I just told him that he could delete all the speed restrictions on the star, which is fine with me. We don't really have a lot of traffic, so it doesn't really matter. Go ahead, Rejax 30. Closing at the top. Okay, what you got? Oh, in 10 minutes? Okay, perfect. If you want to take it now, you can take it. No traffic on the ground. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Doesn't look like you're doing anything. No, no, everything's off. All right. Your controls, uh, I'll, I'll disconnect the ATIS now, too. What, what's your ATIS code? Uh, currently Whiskey. Cool. Oh, that's right. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, man. Good night. All right, your control tells here. All right, so I'm taking over Jax now. And he had Whiskey, so we'll just continue Whiskey. So now... Jacksonville Adis is populated. Okay. Got an Avello coming out of here. We got a Southwest coming out of the north. And then pretty much, uh, we only have one arrival. Jacksonville right Center, Southwest 1227 is with you, to Southwest 1227, Jacksonville Center, ident. Ident for 1227. So we'll see if we guys can see the ident feature. It's hard to see a little bit, but see if you can. It'll be a look at three little lines that are going to populate. There it is. It's right there. Just populated three little lines, vertical, uh, vertical lines, or horizontal lines there. Southwest 1227, radar contacts, uh, one five miles northwest of the PCAN VOR. So I'll go ahead and add his data tag now to the screen, and it will auto-populate. There it goes. It looks like he's flying the Marco to arrival from uh, from that area there. Jackson Center, good evening, Skyhawk 6065 Lima. Or 6065 Lima. Skyhawk 6065 Lima is 10 miles south of Titusville at 2,500. 
Request the ILS runway 27 road, 27 right approach at Safford Airport, please. Is this going to be a VFR practice approach or you want IFR clearance? VFR practice approach, please. And uh, we'd like to do the procedure turn at Uxom if possible. November 6065 Lima Jack Center, Squawk 2765, maintain VFR. Squawk 2765, maintain VFR, 6065 Lima. And this is the guy who's calling me down here, this VFR target. He reported his position. And now he just squawked the code, and now I've got a representation of his full data block now. There's 65 Lima radar contact about 40 east of the Orlando International, of the Orlando Vortac. The Orlando area altimeter is uh, Two niner seven niner, and you wanted uh, two seven left or right? Altimeter two niner seven under ILS runway two seven right at Orlando Sanford with the procedure turn at Oxum, please. Six zero six five Lima. Or six five Lima, Roger, maintain VFR, and you can fly your present heading and vectors for the ILS two seven right approach. Fly present heading and vectors ILS 27 right approach at Sanford or November 6065 Lima. 27 right ILS. And he wants to do the procedure turn at Uxfim. And over 65 Lima, would you like to just go direct to Uxfim and you just want to do a one lap in the hole? Is that what you want to do? Hey, for a six zero six five Lima. Six five Lima, Roger. Clear direct um, Uxfim. Clear direct Uxfim. Six zero six five Lima. Delta nineteen ninety seven. Radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. Frequency change approved. Delta nineteen ninety seven. Have a good night. Southwest twelve twenty seven. Descend and maintain. Follow two seven zero. Descend maintain. Follow two seven zero. Southwest twelve twenty seven. Excellent, Lima Center. Hello, Avalo four ninety one. Avello 491, Jacksonville Center. Uh, uh, flying direct to Oxstop on the Alas Run 1. Avello 491, Squawk uh, 3465. Three four six five. Avello 491. So I just handed off these two guys to Houston Center. So they received the handoff. I see this R here, this R uh, with this sort of uh, line on the left side of the data tag now. So let's me know that uh, he's received the handoff. If I click in the box now and look in the display area, his sector is now displayed inside the flight plan here. Hello, 491, your radar contact about 10 miles northeast of the uh, Myrtle Beach Airport. And you said that you are direct Uxtep to join the RNAV uh, 18, is that what you said? Join the Allies White, Delta four ninety one. Okay, let me get you um the let me get you on there a little bit better. Just Delta four ninety one. Just turn right, heading three six zero to sort of maintain three thousand vectors to Uxtep. Heading three six zero to sort of maintain three thousand. Delta four ninety one. The Myrtle Beach altimeter is. Um, Actually, Avella 391, just looking at the weather at Myrtle Beach, the winds are 320 gust 22. Are you using real world weather? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's give you the ILS 36. The tower is still open for another four minutes. I'll get you in there. Just, uh, Avella 491, just, uh, just continue the right turn, flighting 180, maintain 3000. Right heading 180, maintain 3000 on low 49. Avella 491 will be vectors ILS 36. Delta 1, Delta 10, 16, contact Houston Center, 134.42. Have a good night. 134.42, Delta 10, 16. Southwest 151, nothing further. Radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Uh, switching over to 122.8. Thanks for being on. Southwest 151. Welcome, Susan. Jackson Center, assist uh, 464 Mike Whiskey. Or 464 Mike Whiskey, Jacksonville. 464 Mike Whiskey, 7,500, about 30 to the south of Orlando International. Information Bravo request full stop at the uh, International.
Number 464, Mike Whiskey, Jack Center, Roger, maintain VFR, Squawk 1537. Maintain VFR, 1537, Ferris 4, Mike Whiskey. Jacksonville Center, Avianca, 590, back with you. Roger. United 11, contact Houston Center, 134.42. Have a good week. I uh, partially got blocked there. I think you said United 11 uh, over the Houston Center. Affirmative. Have a good night. Awesome. I'll go over to Houston Center. Take care. Thanks for having me. Be on. You're welcome. Southwest 1227, descend to the Marco 2 arrival, runway 26. Jacksonville altimeter is uh, 2971. It's in via the uh, Marco 2 arrival, uh, and then out to the 2971, check for 126. Number 4, Mike Whiskey, radar contact, position as reported, declared in Orlando class Bravo airspace, runway 36 left is uh, in use, and information Bravo is current. I proceed inbound, 36 left, say it's 4, Mike Whiskey. Tech Center Delta 404, into airspace is north, 210. Uh, it was Delta 404. A firm. Delta 404, Jack Center, squawk 5561. Oh, excuse me, 5560. 5560, five, Delta 404. So the, air, the controlled airspace at Orlando is a class Bravo airspace. You have to have clearance to go into this airspace. So you have to be cleared directly into that. You had that. The pilot has to receive that clearance from the controller before they can enter the Bravo. Out here, the Bravo airspace is uh, 3,000 to 10,000 feet in this sector here. This guy's at 7,500 feet, so he will be passing in, uh, penetrating the class Bravo here. Um, so I gave him clearance to enter the Bravo. There's really no traffic. It's not a big deal. Um, and um, so he's heading in toward runway 36 left, full stop. I don't know why these uh, data tags aren't populating tonight, but it is what it is. This guy's going to Tallahassee. Well, the 404, your radar contact about uh, 25 miles northwest of the PCAN VOR. Pilot's discretion maintain 11,000. 11, the Tallahassee altimeter is uh, 2982. My discretion, 11,000, 2982, Delta 404. So I was checking all these uh, altitudes. Everything is fine here. This guy's uh, already at 31. He's higher than all the. Uh, he's going to pass underneath this guy and above this guy. So all these altitudes. Jacksonville right Center there. Pyramid 78, climbing through 31,000. Sorry, level 314 for level 360. Pyramid 78, Jacksonville Center, Squawk 1532. Buck 1532, Pyramid 78. Delta 404, the uh, Tallahassee Tower closed about uh, one minute ago. Just let me know how the weather and notams at the Tallahassee Airport and when able to say your approach request. Roger, we'll go approach request B27 if possible. You want the visual or instrument? Instrument. Uh, Roger, I think. Uh, it's an ILS, and po possibly an RNAV. I have to look it up. You want the ILS? ILS, preferable. Okay, Delta 404, expect the ILS runway 27 approach. Expect 27 right ILS approach, Delta 404. Digital aircraft, JAX, ATIS, X ray now current, JAX altimeter 2972. November 65, Lima, maintain VFR, cleared ILS runway 27 right approach, report inbound. Clear LS27 right approach, safe for report in sound 6065 Lima. This guy was 4445. Uh, did you want the ILS or RNAV Yankee runway 26? Yeah, we'll take the ILS 26 again. This guy was 4445. That was 4445. Roger, advise when you have information X ray, expect the ILS runway 26. Okay, we have X ray and we'll expect the ILS uh, runway 26. That was 4445. Central aircraft, Orlando 8 is Charlie now current. Orlando altimeter 2980. Winds 29014, gust 22. Atis Delta now current Daytona, Daytona altimeter 2976. Okay, so I gotta mess up these data tags as this drives me crazy. This, this, now I can see what's going on. Have a 491 turn right heading 210. 
I heading to one zero Villa four ninety one? Villa four ninety one. Just to maintain one thousand six hundred. Center maintain one thousand six hundred. Villa four ninety one. Pyramid 78, uh, Squawk 7262. Uh, we can Squawk 7262, uh, Pyramid uh, 78. I think I just typed your call sign in wrong. I maybe give you the wrong. Uh, I think I just typed your call sign in incorrectly when you called me. Avella 491, turn right heading 270. Right heading 270, Avella 491. Jackson Mill Center, World Girl 3558, with you, sir. Hi. Flight level 370. It was 3558. What were the Walker numbers again, please? Walker 3558. Walker 3558, Jacksonville Center, Squawk 6746. 6746. Pyramid 78, a radar contact uh, about 8 miles north of the Columbia VOR. Maintain flood level 360. Maintain flood level 360, uh, Pyramid 78. November 4, Mike, Whiskey, the winds. You said you're full stop, yes? There are 4, Mike, Whiskey, you said you're a full stop. Affirmative for Mike Whiskey. Right for Mike Whiskey, Roger. The Orlando wins 290014, gust 22, runway 36 left, clear to land. 36 left, clear to land, for Mike Whiskey. So I'm going to turn this guy on for uh, Ponzi here, so we'll have him intercept the localizer somewhere in here. Uh, the altitude for, Pon uh, for Porky is 1,600, so he's at the altitude that I need him at. Avella 491, turn right, heading 330, intercept the localizer. Right, heading 330, intercept the localizer, Avella 491. So we turn them on 30 degrees offset from the um, the runway heading, which will be 360. So 330 to intercept, 30 degrees offset. He's turning now, he'll join the localizer. Go ahead and give him his clearance. Villa 491, you're five miles from Porky. Maintain 1,600 till established on the localizer. Clear to ILS runway 36 approach. For, for the ILS runway 36, Montana 1,600 one until established below 491. Okay, so let's find the Walker aircraft. Uh, he called, there he is. Walker 3558, a radar contact about uh, 15 miles northwest of the Orlando VOR. Maintain for level 370. Monday in flight level 370, World Girl 3558. Okay. Okay, so uh, since I usually control it mostly at night, oftentimes uh, the towers will actually close in the real world, so I usually try to uh, uh, mimic the tower closure times. So Tallahassee Tower closes 11 p.m. local. Um, so now the field's uncontrolled. So um, the pilot has to choose their approach. We are, we issue the approach, and then they go to uh, the common traffic advisor frequency to land uh, to report their position to other traffic on the ground or in the pattern. Avella 491, the winds Myrtle Beach 310 gust 27 runway 36 clear land. Villa, Villa 491, the winds uh, 310 at 1-8, gust 27, runway 36, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 36, Villa 491. Jack Center, good evening, American 4, City Wall, and check it in, 5410. American 401, Jacksonville Center, Squawk 0734. 0734 on the box. Southwest 1227, information, uh, x-rays current at um, Jacksonville. You can expect the ILS or RNAV Yankee runway 26. Just let me know which one you want. 
Yeah, I'll take the uh, ILS from like 26 for 1227. Southwest 1227, I respect that. At the ILS 26 for 1227, please. Pyramid 78, clear direct Ormond Beach, Oscar Mike, November. Direct Ormond Beach, Pyramid 78. American 809, Atlanta Center is offline. Radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good week. Transmission approved for American 809. Have a good night. Okay, so I cleared this VFR aircraft to land at. Um, Orlando International. This VFR guy is doing, he's turning his, uh, he's flying the hold right now uh, at the initial approach fix. He's starting to turn inbound now, so I don't know if he's going to do another hold, but I just told him to report inbound. Uh, there's no other traffic, so it's, it's fine if he wants to hang out out there. Looks like he's doing a pretty good job on the hold. He's on the two seven right final. This is the this northern uh, final approach course here. Sanford closes at midnight, so he's got another about 50 minutes or so till that tower closes. Executive, uh, Orlando Executive closes around, I think, 11. Uh, the only 24 hour fields that we have in our airspace is Orlando International, um, Daytona, Jacksonville, Charleston, and Columbia. Those are the airports that are open 24 hours. Why Columbia? Not 100% sure, but it is. It is a thing. Not a very busy report. Not Jacksonville sure. Center, uh, south of cell phone, 70 minutes, or step away for like, less than two minutes. It's brute. We'll do things. Another 6 5 Lima inbound on the approach. Our 6 5 Lima, Roger. Uh, let me pull some wins for Sanford. November 6-5, Lima, the Sanford wins 30014, runway 27 right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 27 right. We're uh, actually going to make it a touch go, please, and then request vectors ILS 25. Right, All right, 6-5, Lima, you got stepped on. Okay, touch and go, and what was the request after that? Vectors ILS 25, approach Orlando executive, please. All right, 6-5, Lima, Roger. Um, after the completion of your touch and go, um, fly runway heading, maintain VFR at or below 2,500, return to the street. Well, you'll be with me. Have to touch go, runway heading, and maintain VFR at or below 2,500, November 6, 5, Lima. And there was somebody else calling. Who was that? Tech Center Delta 404, looking for a turn towards the final. Delta 404, no problem. Center maintain, um, center maintain 3,000. I'll have your turn here in about 15 miles. You can maintain 3,000 and you'll call my base. Sirius 4, Mike Whiskey, turn left, touch the ramp, the Alpha. We'll see you later, man. Have a good one. I love you, Alpha. Have a good night. Are there? Level 491, text the ramp. Have a good night. You too, Ram. You too. Have a great week. Level 491, set.
So this Tallahassee Charlie, class Charlie, approach airspace here. Um, just going to turn him on the downwind here at the Seminole VOR. And he's going to do the ILS runway 27 here. These two guys fall on the ground track for uh, the Marco arrival for runway 26. And then they just join a, a heading on a downwind here. A lot of these data tags aren't pairing tonight. It's weird. Uh, maybe this guy just didn't put the right code in, probably. Record 401, reset transponder, squawk 0734. 0734 on the box for 401. So hopefully it'll pair. This data tag should pair up once he uh, should, it should coordinate there, I guess. All right. Record 401 radar contact about um, 20 miles southwest of the St. Augustine VOR. Um, maintain flood level 410. We maintain 410. Thank you so much for making 401. Walker 3558, say Mach number. So this guy is going faster than this guy, but they're very close. They're getting very close to the border here. So I try to get them separated. Yes, sir. Walker 3558, much number uh, 0.74. All right, Walker 3558. Um, all right. Um, all right, that's fine, sir. Just maintain Mach 0.74. American 401, say Mach number. Mach 85 for 401. So we can put the uh, Mach number in the data tag here. Shows up just here. So now I see the speeds that they're flying. So what my plan for this is going to be to just basically just turn Walker onto uh, a heading into the wind, and that will create some spacing, and um, then we'll uh, slow it, get get him just. I uh, just like to get him to the airspace about 10 miles separated. So the 404 turn left heading 040. Left 040, Delta 404. Skywest 4445 to set to maintain 2000. Down to 2000, Skywest Sky was 4445 turn right heading 160 to send to maintain 1600. Uh, down to 1600, can you see the heading again for Sky 4445? Sky was 4445 turn right heading 160. Okay, 160 down to 1600, Sky was 4445. The 404 turn right heading 090. Right, 090 to 404. So the original plan was to turn him on a heading after the Seminole VOR, but I got distracted with giving, figuring out these two guys. So you know, I had to kind of come up with a different plan. So plans always change. You get distracted, you get pulled to other directions, uh, and then you have to sort of, you know, deal with whatever priority you're dealing with, and it is what it is. Just as long as they don't touch, right? 
If you like the content, guys, hit the subscribe button and um, like the video. It would be amazing. So we'll give them about another mile here and then we'll turn them on to the localizer. Skywest 44, 45, turn right heading 230, intercept the runway 26, localizer. Right, 230, intercept the runway 26, localizer, Skywest 44, 45. I think GACID is uh, that's the final approach fix for the ILS-27. I want to say it's 1,800, if I remember. November 6, I Lima on the go, passing 1,200. Run ahead. There's 6, 5, Lima, ident, maintain VFR. Ident, 6, 5, Lima. Yeah, 1800, so scrolls right, this guy, all right, he just identified. There are six five lane radar contact, uh, about a half mile west of Sanford, and you said you wanted the ILS 25 at Executive? Hey, for November 6, you're 65 Lima. 65 Lima, Roger, maintain via far right or below 2500, turn left, heading 150 vectors, ILS runway 25. Maintain via far right or below 2500. One thing, one five zero vector is silent two five or Orlando executive. So he's going now to executive, which is this final approach course here. So I'm giving him a base turn, basically, to get him uh, to the final for runway two five at executive. Or six five, this could be a full stop at executive. Hey, if I run a six zero six five, Lima. Delta four zero four turn right heading one eight zero. Right heading 180, Delta 404. Skywest 44, 45, the Jacks wins 280 at 9, runway 26, clear to land. Runway 26, clear to land, Skywest 44, 45. Delta 404, turn right heading 200. Right heading 200, Delta 404. Jacksonville Center is November 6 here at 6, finally my moment to our intentions. Uh, we'll like to do a touch and go Orlando Executive and then the RNF uh, Bravo at Orlando Apopka, please. Air 6 5 Lima, Roger, I have your request. Delta 404, descend and maintain 1,800. Descend maintain 1,800, so Delta there's 404. An right here. This is an antenna right here. 2,600 is the minimum vectoring altitude. That means I can't just send him below 2,600 in this area. Uh, it's called a minimum vectoring altitude uh, for an antenna. That's what this little TP thing is right here. So he's at 3,000 right now. He's descending on 1,800. So he's outside the minimum vectoring altitude area. Delta 404, turn right, heading 240, intercept the runway 27, localizer. 240, intercept, localizer, Delta 404. There's 65, Lima, after the completion of your touch and go, uh, maintain VFR at or below 1,500, um, heading, uh, fly runway heading and return to this frequency. On the go at uh, Executive Runway Heading, maintain VFR below 1,500 this, and this frequency, uh, 6 5 Lima. Or 6 5 Lima, maintain VFR outer below 1,500. Maintain VFR outer below 1,500, 6 5 Lima. So the 404, 5 miles from Gazed, maintain 1,800 till established on the localizer, clear to ILS runway 27 approach. Clear 27 and right approach door 27 ILS approach total 404. Southwest 1227, descend and maintain 2000. Descend and maintain 2000. So we're giving this guy missed approach instruction. This guy's flying instrument approach is VFR, so the, the, the conditions are VFR, which means that he can uh, maintain his own obstacle clearance and uh, I do have to give him some 
um, separation for traffic. Um, I'm basically treating them like an IFR aircraft, but technically it's VFR. A 65 Lima, turn right heading 180. Right turn heading 180, number 65 Lima. Air 6 let me disregard. I just turned uh, five degrees right now. Five degrees from your president position. Five degrees right, and then the uh, heading 17065 Lima. Delta 404, no traffic is zero between you and the Tallahassee Airport. Report off our cancellation on the ground and misapproach. This frequency, radar service is terminated. Change to common traffic advisor. Frequency is approved. Change to common traffic. Frequency change approval. Delta 404. I appreciate it, Howard. Have a good one. You're welcome. Just give me a call when you land. Yes, sir. So these guys are already starting to separate themselves. Uh, they're almost, they're, it's almost a 0.1 mock difference uh, between these two guys. So um, I'm really not even going to have to turn this guy. He'll, he's going so much faster than the guy behind. So we're good here. I just have to descend them now to get them at 35,000 uh, for the border crossing. American 10401, descend and maintain flow level 350. Descend and maintain 350 for 401. Thank you. Walker at 3558, descend to maintain, flow level 350. Descend and maintain, this uh, flight level 350, Walker 3558. Southwest 1227, turn right heading 180, descend to maintain 1600. Turn right heading 180, and uh, descend to maintain 1600, southwest 1227. Or 6-5, Lima. Um, you're about uh, four miles from Mary B. Turn right, heading two, uh, two, two, zero. Maintain VFR, cleared eyelash runway two five approach. Right turn two two zero. Maintain VFR, cleared eyelash two five approach. Orlando Executive six five Lima. Southwest twelve twenty seven. Turn right, heading two one zero. Right heading two one zero. So this open so. Pyramid 78, cross Lomet, maintain 15,000, the Melbourne altimeter 29077. Cross Lomet, maintain 15,000, Melbourne altimeter 2977, Pyramid 78. Southwest 1227, turn right heading 230, intercept the localizer. We're heading 230, intercept the localizer, intercept the open So this guy really delayed in turning, so either his, he's not turning the knob as fast as I'd like, or he's uh, his bank angle isn't very steep, but he's just really delaying the turn. But I think he's just going to get on the localizer here. Skywest uh, 4445, straight ahead, Juliet, into the ramp. Have a good night. Okay, straight ahead, Juliet, into the ramp. Uh, thanks for your services, guys. 4445. Good night. Southwest 1227, you're four miles from Tickery. Maintain 1,600 till established on the localizer. Cloyd Eilish on way 26 approach. Maintain 1,600 until fully established with the localizer. Cloyd Eilish on way 26 approach. Okay. Six five Lima Executive Towers closed. Radar services terminated. Uh, change to advisor frequency approved. Just give me a call on the go. Change to advisor approved. We'll go six five Lima. Avianca five ninety Washington's offline. Radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. Switch it over to Unicom for Avianca five ninety. Have a good night. Good night, sir. Central aircraft, Orlando 8 is Delta now, Karen. Orlando altimeter 2980, winds 290011, gust 22. So Delta 404 landed. Um, Check center, Delta 404, cancel IFR. And you just called. Delta 404, IFR cancellation received. Have yourself a great week. We'll see you. Excuse man. Take care. So when the field's uncontrolled, and uh, noted 2214 has to go off live for a little bit, or for a second. Sorry, who was that? 
Medic 2214, I have to go away for one sec. Uh, okay, just be back uh, in the next uh, four minutes. i got to hand off to Houston for you. Yeah, I'll be back in less than that. Roger. Southwest 12-27, the Jacks wins 280 at Niner, runway 26, quite a land. 26, quite a land, Southwest 12-27. So in the aircraft, so an IFR aircraft going to an uncontrolled airport, um, and we release that aircraft to Unicom, uh, we basically have to protect the airspace. So the airport is technically closed uh, until he calls to cancel his IFR. So if there's somebody on the ground that wants to take off and their IFR, they have an IFR flight plan, then they cannot leave until this guy calls, and then we can release the guy on the ground. Uh, we can release him for departure after he calls. So basically, it's one in, one out when it's uncontrolled field operations for IFR traffic. If they if they want to cancel and become be VFR, then they can do whatever they want. They'll just be on Unicom. Um, but if they are IFR, then they have to cancel, or they have to wait, one or the other. So this guy has his clearance to cross the llama, which is this fix here at uh, 15,000. He's going to be landing here. And so fix the crossing fix here, just on the north side of the Orlando uh, Tracon. And he's landing here, which uh, the tower there closes at midnight as well, I think. So he's got about another, I don't think he's going to make it with me. Go ahead and hand off this guy to Houston. Wait for him to call back, and then we'll give him the voice handoff. Come Southwest 1227. United, United 2214 is back. United 2214, thanks. Contact Houston Center now, 134.42, heavy week. 134.42, United 2214, thank you for the uh, control. So for all the airports, uh, except for Orlando, we use uh, this is, um, what we call uh, tower cab maps. And um, we make a drawing uh, using a special program. And then we basically populate these right on top of a satellite image. So you're able to see the actual um, Jacksonville area here in satellite out to about, I don't know, 10 miles or something. And uh, and then we can see uh, all the ground markings are actually drawn on the map uh, with the program that we use. So it's really cool. It's really kind of neat. We do use the ASD files uh, for Orlando. It has ground radar, so it uses an ASD file. So that's what this file is here. So this is the actual ground radar that they use um, at the facility. Um, at you know, at these airports, there's no ground radar. They're just looking out the tower with a pair of binoculars, um, kind of a thing. But uh, unfortunately, we, we we are able to do that. Actually, we can actually have tower view uh, and look in a in either X plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator. We can actually look out of the tower and see this. Um, Maybe one night I'll try to set that up so you guys can see that. Southwest 1227, taxi uh, straight into the ramp. Have a good night. Taxi straight into the ramp for 1227. Yeah, Record 401, Atlanta's off. Law and radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. Over, you need to go on one. Anything to my power for your control. See you next night. Well, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. And this guy is going to go over to Popka Airport which isn't too far from my house, actually. Um, I think he said he wanted the RNAV. Uh, I think it's just a just a RNAV to a circling approach there. Yeah, he wanted.
wanted to get the Arnav Alpha or Bravo. Can't remember what he said, but we'll get that sorted out once he uh, is on the go here. Walker 3558, you're leaving my airspace. Radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. We'll see you later. Frequency change approved. Uh, Unicom 122 decimal 8. Thank you. Welcome. So this is the airport he's going to now. Uh, it's an uncontrolled. Hello, oh, Jack Center. November 65 Lima, 250 heading 1,500 out of Orlando Executive. Air 65 Lima, I dent. I dent, November 65 Lima. Air 65 Lima, radar contact a mile southwest of Executive Airport. And uh, which RNAV did you want, the Alpha or the Bravo? RNAV Bravo to Pasca, please, November 65 Lima. Six five Lima Roger. Did you want uh, Jackson or a Zubu? I will take uh, Jackson, please. Uh, six five Lima Roger. Stand by. Let's see where see where this fix is, Jackson. So here's the fix. Uh, so I'll probably just vector him down. Or 65 Lima Flyer present heading vectors to Jackson, maintain VFR uh, below uh, 3,000. Flyer present heading vectors uh, to Jackson, under below 3,000 VFR, November 65 Lima. 65 Lima cleared into the Lando class Bravo airspace. Cleared into the Lando class Bravo airspace, November 65 Lima. All right, so he's picking up this fix. So here's the approach he wants. Um, he wants to go uh, from Jackson, and it looks like he's going to land on runway 33 is the plan for him. Um, so he's kind of right here right now, so I want to get him a little bit further down so I can give him a, a vector that will not put him on more than a, um, or less than a 90 degree angle for him to join up on the initial approach fix. So we'll vector him down to this area here, and then clear him to the fix. So you can see now, if he went Correct. He would be at a very awkward angle trying to go back this way uh, to get on to the final approach course. So guys, I'm going to get this guy on the approach and close it up for the night. If you like the content, um, you appreciate what you're seeing, just um, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave any comments you'd like, to, you know, content that you'd like to see. Uh, the goal here is to try to uh, educate as much as I can, let you guys see some air traffic control uh, from a uh, amateur on a virtual network. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we try to mimic as much as we can uh, with what the FAA does and um, I try to do as much as I can to explain what I'm doing. Um, I try to explain some of the approaches, some of the arrivals, some of the departures so that we can get pilots have more of a better understanding of what we do in our airspace to fly better in our airspace. Try to get you pilots to understand how what, what we want from you uh, when you're flying in the airspace. Uh, so that's the goal. Eventually start to try to do some live streams and uh, we'll just keep it going as long as you guys are interested. Um, kind of a thing. So I'm not sure I'm going to have another video out. I'll probably have another video out here on probably 
um, Thursday, possi Thursday, possibly Thursday and possibly Friday of this week. And I'll be back in a work environment, uh, my real work. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't normally work weekends, but because of the holiday, Christmas holiday, I'll be working uh, next weekend. But we'll try to do a uh, try to do a video for you guys on uh, this Thursday and Friday. November 6, 5, Lima, cleared at Jackson, maintained VFR, cleared RNAV, Bravo approach at the Apopka Airport. Cleared at Jackson, cleared RNAV, Bravo approach, Apopka Airport, November 6, 5, Lima. There's 6, 5, Lima, to be closing up for the evening. Radar service is terminated. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Have a great night. Call you for a fixed change cruise. Thanks for the service. Excited, Lima. Welcome. Pyramid 78, sir. I'm not going to be able to get you all the way in tonight. Uh, the Melbourne's landing west. The altimeter. Uh, I'll get you the weather here. Stand by. Latest weather of Melbourne. The wind's 2608. Uh, and altimeter is 2977. Radar service is terminated. Frequency change approved. Have a good night. OD and COM 228. Thank you very much for the services today. Pyramid 78. See ya. Central Aircraft Technical Center is now closed. Please monitor you to come on 122.8. All right, everybody, it's Radar Contact Lost here. Uh, coming to you uh, from the home headquarters here west of Orlando. Um, hope you guys have a uh, great couple of days this week, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.